Uh. Yep, it's a nice flounder. Uh. Uh. Oh my goodness, gosh, Lee. He's not ready. We're gonna make him ready though. Oh, missed it again. Every time we see that net, he wants to dart back down. Oh my God, I am so wet now. <laughs> I am so wet. Let's see what this guy's at. Oh yeah, 19 and a half. everybody welcome back Ruben with Texas all water fishing and today I want to talk to you about the best time of the year to fish and that is right now we are really getting into it the fishing is getting ready getting ready to start heat up inshore fishing is getting ready to be on fire that is the fall season now I was in the process of editing a video and I started watching and seeing that I am seeing a lot of the fall signs already which made me do this video for you guys. Now, why is the fall season so exciting to me? Is the simple fact that you have so many fish that are spawning, you have so many fish that are moving and they're very active because you know during the spawning times of the years of the seasons for the fish is that they need a lot of food. They need a lot of food to move. They need a lot of food to migrate. They need a lot of food to spawn because it takes a lot of energy. Which lucky for us, the anglers, which means they're going to be feeding a lot. One of the important things to do as an angler, if you're serious about fishing and serious about figuring out the fishing patterns, is to have a fishing log. There's all different apps you can use. Luckily for me, I have a YouTube channel so I'm able to go back and watch videos and able to go back and look at some of my footage to see where I was fishing, what I was throwing, what the water conditions were like. Now what I was doing during this time of the year, I was throwing a lot of corks last year. I was throwing a lot of voodoo shrimp. I was transitioning into flounder and seeing and going after and targeting a lot more flounder. I was fishing a lot of the grass lines and I even noticed that this week we're starting to see a lot of those little grass shrimp. We're starting to see a lot of those in the grass lines and even in some of the grass beds. In a rising tide you have the tide raise up and those grass beds you see that you see you may see during the low tide. Those are great areas to fish especially when the high tide when the, when the tide rises because a lot of those shrimp will be hanging out and hiding in there so they'll be looking for that structure so grass lines still around oyster reefs bins intersection any kind of drop-offs or deep holes these are all structure items these are all structural things for the bait to hide at and great areas to target and I was targeting them like I said this time last year but I really target them all the time but looking at some of my footage from last year, those were the areas where I was having the majority of success and also pushing back into some of those deep pockets in the marsh when the water level is high. Now a lot of those reds are going to start moving around and getting out of there. So it's also a great time to hit those jetties, hit those passes or those inlets because you'll get a lot of the migrating fish here over the next month to two months you'll get a lot of those migrating reds out there you'll get a lot of trout out there and it's a great time of the year to capitalize on that movement and on that migration especially during some of the feeding frenzies now one thing that i have noticed this past week is there's been a lot of flounder movement there's been a lot of a lot of flounder being caught i know i, I hooked them to a few the other day so it's a good time to change up and get that getter done rig out. Use a tandem lure setup. Break out some of that gope and really target those flounders around the structure and around that grass line. I saw I saw several flounders this week going airborne, chasing those little shrimp on the grass line. We're not able to keep flounder during the flounder run, so be between now and November 1st is a great time to get out there and capitalize and try to catch some of those flatty guys but especially right now you know they're moving like i said i've seen a lot of people catching them i've seen a lot of bull reds being caught too 
around the Texas City Dyke area in that strong current. So anytime where you have those currents, you have those passes, those jetties, those inlets, it's a great time to get out there and really capitalize on some of those larger game fish that are moving through there. Also, you know, top water, the top water bite is still there. I wouldn't sleep on the top water bite during the fall. It's still fish are very active. They're gonna be hitting on some of those larger style baits. So continue to throw that top water. If you are throwing the top water, if you're not, you might want to dust it off a little bit. You know, pick yourself up a top water or two from Academy and start working working the top water, especially around the grass line. Any kind of any kind of over any kind of oysters or any kind of submerged vegetation. Whenever there's cleaner water with a little bit of water movement, those are great areas of target. Any kind of fish activity with that top water bite. But like I said, fall season it is an exciting time of the year for me one of my favorite feet seasons to fish and really get after it so if you have any opportunity during this fall this month going in the next month maybe even going in november seize those moments seize that opportunity to get out there one of the things that i will stress to you i can't stress enough is the moon phases with the moon phase you have good tide movement you have very very good tide movement now during the full moon a lot of fish will eat overnight and that's what i experienced this past week i knew it was gonna be grind it was a grind out the other day when i went fishing because i knew that a lot of fish were feeding overnight but i still wanted to go out with my buddy charles i was still able to get on a few good fish but i know that the fish haven't been been eating all night they've been feeding all night so they were very picky what they wanted but if you have the opportunity to get out on a new moon phase a few days before, a few days after the new moon, that is a great time to be out there. I can't stress it enough. Our next new moon for the Galveston area is October 6th. You can guarantee that I will be out there. And like I said, the next couple of new moons phases is going to be key. It's going to be amazing, phenomenal fishing. I'm already calling it. It's going to be really, really on. Get out there. Get some of those big old doormats. Get out there. Get yourself a nice bull red or get you a gator trout. Fall season is here. Time to get ready. Time to get loaded up and get out there on the water. Guys, that's all I have. I, like I said, I was in the middle of editing, and I would just thought I would throw down some of this information looking at last year, what I was fishing, how I was fishing it, what I was targeting, the areas I was looking at. And I just wanted to share some of this information with you. Fall season, great time to fish. Hopefully, next time you catch me, hook it up. Thanks.